everyone, I just wanted to make a quick update video on the Mega Blaster. I have completely rewritten the firmware, and there's a couple major changes to it. Uh, first off, instead of using a complex time system that would wait in between each sample for like, I don't know, 22 microseconds, I've actually used the internal hardware timers of the STEM32 platform, and uh, I've made a 44.1 kilohertz interrupt that will take a sample every one 44.1 thousandth of a second. Uh, the next big change is I have created a ring buffer system for the commands. So there is an uh, 8192 byte command buffer. Uh, so you'll get a lot more consistent playback. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the speed of the SD card too much. Uh, there are still a couple tracks that will completely exhaust that buffer and lag a little bit, but for the most part, uh, playback has been significantly improved and stabilized across, like, I don't know, tons of different tracks. A um, couple other fixes. Uh, I changed the way that the chips are written to. I've written a nice bus class, and uh, even though this is still a little bit on the ugly side, it's a lot better than a uh, boolean check on every single bit. Uh, I'm using the registers a little like more properly now so uh, the uh, bus uh, write speed has been improved from like 65.1 kilohertz to 330 plus kilohertz. Um, so for PCM samples they're still stored in that little external RAM. Again I don't have too much RAM on this microcontroller, only like 20k so PCM samples still have to be stored in external RAM. Uh, but I've prefetched the next byte in every PCM sample. So if you're playing back a PCM sample, there's inherently a little bit of a wait uh, before the next sample is played. So I'll just cache that in local RAM from the SPI RAM before you get to the next sample. So that should speed everything up a little bit. Uh, that and the chip drivers have been improved. Uh, they're definitely a lot cleaner than they used to be. So. <laughs> That's uh, the header file. Let me see if I can find. There we go. Yeah, that's a that's looking a lot better. This one too, a lot better. Um, unfortunately, like I mentioned before, uh, there are still some tracks that will completely exhaust my command buffer. And since I'm using a one-bit SD card read mode instead of SDIO, which is four-bit, it just can't keep up with a couple tracks. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do a harder revision, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, before we get into the A and B tests between the old firmware and the new firmware, I'm going to give a total shout out to Agiri-san. Uh, she's been helping me out this entire time, and her project, the Mega Girl, is stellar. Please go check her out if you are interested in hardware video game players. Hers, let's be real, it crushes mine, and it has DAX stream support, and it's super awesome. So yeah, definitely go check her out. And now I will go into the A and B tests between old and new firmware. Thanks for watching. 